Hey everyone here from TunnelVision TV and welcome back to this Premiere Pro video series. And in this tutorial, I'm quickly going to talk about sequence versioning. So let's say we've got edit one, we're busy with an edit, so I'm just going to drag in some clips here. And um, let's say you want to kind of save this or archive this sequence and start working on a new version of the sequence. So I'm going to expand my edits bin and I've got edit number one here that I'm currently working on. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another bin inside of edits. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to select new bin and I'm going to call this one archive. All right, now let's say we want to start, uh, we want to save edit one, we want to create a new edit. So I'm going to right click on edit one, duplicate, and I'm going to call this one edit number two. And uh, then I'm going to move edit one into my archive folder. So I'm just going to drag and drop it into archive. And uh, then I'm going to double click on edit two to open edit number two in my sequence. Now I can close edit one, the tab right here. So I'm only seeing edit two. Now I can carry on working on edit two and my edit one is basically archived it's in the archive folder or in the archive bin here and uh, edit two is now my latest edit and then maybe let's say you make some changes to this one and then you want to archive edit two to create a new edit then i'm going to do the same i'm going to duplicate edit two so right click edit two and i'm going to select duplicate and i'm going to call this new one edit three like so and then i'm going to archive edit two drag it into the archive bin double click on edit three to open it and then I'm going to close edit two here so I'm only seeing edit three and then I know edit three is my latest edit and uh, if I save my project now and I come back later I'll know that I need to work on edit three as that's my latest edit and if for some reason if I want to go back to some of the previous edits I can always just go into the archive bin and double click on one of these and it's going to open up that previous uh, archived edit. So that's basically how to use versioning inside of Premiere. If you want to go back to a previous version of your edits, you'll find them under archive and um, it will just give you some flexibility when working on multiple versions of your edit. I'll see you guys in the next video.